good class. <laughs> People often study anatomy and think that's the end of it, but that's the beginning. The, the pelvis, pelvis is, is everything. everything. Okay. What do I do with my arms? Let's. Well, don't take up smoking. We'll figure that out in a second. Okay. Put your forehead down. Back bending 101. <laughs> the body's all curves, no straight lines. Do you know how much these things cost? <laughs> What this course offers you is an opportunity to learn how to see and read your students' bodies fundamentally differently. It's the shape of the pose, yes. not the amplitude of the back bends. Yeah. My oldest student. You're gonna have x-ray vision, anatomical, kinesiological understanding of what's going on when your student walks into your class and does a pose and says they have pain in their shoulder or their hip feels strange. Descend the pelvis into the space, yeah. It doesn't help me if I can name the bones in the leg if I don't understand how they work together in movement. Good. Feel how now they're wrapping around you? Yeah. Experiential anatomy changed the way I teach yoga. And that's why I wanted to get mom and Mary together and put it online so that everyone has access to this material. <laughs> I'm your host, asking your questions, even the ones you're afraid to ask. We're gonna take advantage of looking at the back body to pick up a couple of very important bony landmarks. Okay. When I'm in a class, if I get a little lost or if I get a little bungled up, I always think, what would Judith do? And that would help me relax and then teach her my heart again. Excellent. Push the hand that way to get up. Did that help you? Yes. Even though I am a yoga teacher, I was intimidated about coming to a workshop specifically about anatomy. But within, I think, the first 10 minutes, she was doing a tango with her, her skeleton. And, you know, I thought, this is, this is not going to be your average anatomy class, for sure. A dislocated shoulder comes out of the socket. A separated shoulder is at the acromion where the spine of the scapula comes into the clavicle, that ligament avulses. We're doing audio podcasts. We're doing video tutorials. We did a workshop. We went on retreat together and assembled all of this material with real life students, exactly the people who walk into your yoga class every single day. I don't know who they are. <laughs> when I look at people now, I notice all the natural curves in their bodies. And because of what Judith has taught me, I'm not as judgmental about how they should look. The separation that occurs between the femur and the pelvis, which has a special name, called the hip joint. And they just <laughs> take everything back. It's real life. She, she helps us be better people. When I witness that, I think, this is how I want to show up. I like to think of the pelvis as a lifeboat, and we want to stay in it. Mary is a riot. She is certainly a yoga anatomy geek. And you see, she can do that with just, with ease. Mm -hmm. Too much ease. <laughs> she's studied yoga deeply and science deeply, and she's able to bring them together in a way that mere mortals like me can understand them better. I'm not yet a walking MRI, but it's a special ability that I hope to achieve in this lifetime. The secret reason I like Mary is because she says things like, in all seriousness, I'm obsessed with the pelvis. And I like that because I'm obsessed with the pelvis, so she's brilliant. Turn. Do you feel the stretch here on the side? This is practical and fun information that's going to allow you to understand what's really happening in the body in front of you. Structured around mom's book, Anatomy for Yoga Teachers, Yoga Body. It's about creating conditions with you so that the asana arises organically from the space within because that's where it lives. Does the position create the meditative state, or does the meditative state create the position? You know what this course gives you? It's confidence. Confidence that you're able to help each student with their body. They let me be silly, encourage me to do my best. I hope you can feel that when you watch us work together.
I really hope you'll join us. It's gonna be so much fun.